one week, you will come in here and be a superhero. This is an oral presentation, an oral report. Each and every one of you will come up in front of the class in character. You will describe who you are and what you do. You can make up a character, or you can use one of the real ones that seem to be popping up all over Madison Avenue. You can be one of the good guys or the bad guys. Your call. But you have to tell me why you are the way you are and what your powers mean to you. You can even be a mutant, if you want to. Hmm, right. The M word. Don't sweat it, class. It's just a word. If you need help, you can come to me to discuss your project anytime. If you have a question, ask. Uh, do we have to, like, come in costume? No, uh, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. It's a presentation. Creativity is a plus. You can bring anything you want. Yo, can Flash come in a dress? Because he's been wanting to ask. Stupid! Enough, you two. You can bring anything you want, Kong, but you'd better bring your brain for this one. You can't afford another grade like you got on last week's quiz. Busted. Well, that was supportive. All right, let's open your books to page 507. Did you check the reading? I am, this minute, doing just that. And, and it's a reading. Same as before? Same as before. Oh, he's hungry today. Pulse is good. Best yet. What did you do this weekend? Nothing. Went to the movies. What did you see? I don't know. Some piece of Ashley Judd garbage. Yeah. Who decided she was a movie star? I know. The same person that decided Molly Ringwald was. Who? Exactly. Did you check the pad? No. I left that on there for you. I got it last time. I'm sure that's not true. It is your turn. Go see if Dr. Rock can pussy left us any presents. Okay, I think we need a chart, because I remember doing it yesterday as well. Why? Why did you just call me that? Why did you call me Dr. Octopus? My name... My name is Otto. Why did you call me that? Why did you call me Dr. Octopus? Ugh, man, I hate pep rally. Yeah, how come all this makes me feel like everything but peppy? I'd rather be at work. I am so broke, it's sickening. Me too. <laughs> well, sure, but you got a cool job. I do? At a newspaper? Come on, are you kidding me? I work at the freaking Cinnabon. Yo, man, I think I hate that superhero assignment. What does it have to do with anything? Yeah, and could you believe she told us to come to school dressed as mutants? I mean, how tacky is that? Crunchy Granola Lady needs to cut back on the wheat germ. I mean... I never thought I'd be saying this, but can't we just do math or something? Well, at least it's better than reading. My brain can't take any more. My brain is full. Anyone gotta go with Spider-Man? Dude, you are so gay for Spider-Man. Shut up. I'm gonna go as a mutant. A big, horny mutant. God. What? Mutants don't get horny? Dude, don't even joke about that stuff. You never know. What? He's right. You really should can it. My uncle is, like, missing and stuff. Was he a mutant? No one knows for sure, but, like, the dude is gone. Just missing. Did he live in Washington? Yeah. Wow. Hey, you ever think, like, what was like in Ghostbusters, when all the ghosts and stuff start flying around? What? All these superheroes are mutants and stuff. What was like in Ghostbusters, when it was, like... A sign. Like some bad news was coming. What if that's why all these super people keep popping up? Are you actually using Ghostbusters to prove a point? You think? I don't know. You think maybe we should do something about it? Do what? You know, uh, do something about all these mutants or whatever. Keep an eye out, I mean. Do something? Keep an eye out? 
You know, that's what the Germans said about the Jews. Well, yo, the Jews never had big red laser beams shooting out of their eyes. I think. Oh, come on. Man, it it feels like we're in trouble or something. What? Oh, no, I mean it. Doesn't it feel weird that there's people with superpowers all up in our stuff? It's the meteor. How do you think the dinosaurs felt that moment just before the meteor hit? I mean, they were just like standing around and all of a sudden, it's like, oh shit, we're extinct. I mean, that's what's going on, right? That's what you're worried about. We're extinct. All of a sudden, it's, if you don't fly, you don't survive. I mean, there's like a guy who can walk on walls. What's that about? And now you have to think about that fact every day of your life. The fact that you can. But like, I think about it like this. I think maybe the difference between us and dinosaurs is we know. They didn't know they didn't have a chance. But we know there are things in this world more powerful than us. But the real question is, what are us normal people, what are we going to do without powers? But see, what is like powers anyhow? This dude right here is stronger than me, does that make him super powered? See? Because I have a theory that, like, whatever you do is your superpower. You play guitar, football, math. Whatever you do, whatever makes you, you, that's your power. And I think, I think in this new world, you're just going to be forced to do what it is that you can do as best you can. Or you ain't going to make it. So maybe you won't ever have, like, super mutant powers. All that means is no more sitting on your fat butt watching cartoons. It's all going to be about what can you do that another can't. And I think if we can get into that mindset, I don't think there's going to be any problems with all these superpower mutant spider goblin people. Because we'll all have superpowers. Who are you? Gwen Stacy. It's my first day here. Uh, hello? Hello? You're awake. Ah, that's good. Who... who's there? Where am I? What's going on? Otto, I'm Dr. Pym. I've been in charge of your case since you were brought here. You've been sedated, and for that I apologize, but we need to talk. First of all, you're quite safe. Safe? From what? Do you remember how you got here? Remember? I don't know where I am. Where am I? It's so dark. I can't. It's so nauseous. You suffered from severe trauma to your optic nerve. You're not blind, but you can't take bright lights. Oh no. What is the last thing you remember? I... Oh, no. Uh... Do you remember what happened? No. There was an accident. You were in a very serious accident at Osborne Industries. You've been in a coma. Osborne? How long? How long was I in a coma? Three months. Oh, my. I just... I don't remember what happened. I, I can't think right. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up, and... Ah! Oh my god! What is this? What is this? What is this? What have you done to me?
There was an accident at Osborne Industries. You've suffered a number of wounds to the face and neck, but, uh, your metallic arms. The ones you wore for your more delicate laboratory experiments. The ones you wrote the essay about in Scientific America. They seem to have fused to you during the explosion, and they are on you right now. Your skin is fused to the metal as if... as if the two were one. We monitored this fusion during the healing process. Your arms. They seem to be locked into your central nervous system. We... we don't understand how, but you seem to be able to control them. They... react to you. They have an organic... Where am I? That's classified information right now. What? I'm sorry. I'm not authorized to give you that information. We're waiting for- What are you talking about? What is going on? What have you done to me? I know this is hard to hear. Take off my bandages. Sir, your eyes. Take them off. Oh my god. We are just now beginning to understand the genetics of what has happened. There's a paper by Dr. Reed. Oh my god! I know, this is a devastating thing to discover. And Dr. Lange is here to talk to you about it. Help you through it. We hope the scientist in you will be able to find the exciting possibilities that this accident has brought into our lives. We can all work together to find out what this discovery means and what maybe it holds for the future of... of... Uh, of the future. So, what you're saying is... That I was found like this, and then left like this, to see what would happen. Uh. That is what you're saying, yes. You could have gotten these arms off me, but you decided not to. Who the fuck are you? Who? We're not allowed to say, but, but this is a government agency. You're in the hands of the United States government. Anger is a normal reaction, Otto. You shouldn't feel ashamed of that emotion. Be quiet. It's important to remember that you need not blame yourself. This very well could be a blessing. I said be quiet. Now tell me where I am. Clifford, honey. I'm going out. Whatever. In one week, you will come in here and be a superhero. Do something? Keep an eye out? You know, that's what the Germans said about the Jews. The Amazing Spider-Man! Ladies and gentlemen, the Spectacular Spider-Man! Up, big time superhero coming through. Whoa. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no, I'm listening. I'm just doing a little workout before I gotta go into the city. No, I'm listening. You went to the movies together, and. Come on, I'm working. Uh huh. And one and two. And one and two. And uh -huh. one and two. Uh -huh. And one and two. One and two. Uh -huh. One and two. And one and two. And uh, one and I, I, I gotta go. One and two. And one and two. And one and two. One and two. And one and two. And one and two. <laughs> Peter Parker is Spider-Man. You are absolutely whacked out of your mind. Listen. You're whacked. I, whacked. I figured it out. You figured nothing, man. Parker is not Spider-Man. What? Kong thinks Parker is Spider-Man. You are nuts. Nuts. Shut up for a second. Remember... Remember when the dude got bit by that spider? When? On the field trip, last semester. Oh yeah, that was funny. Well, he's Spider-Man. 
How does that make him Spider-Man? Yo, the spider bit him. See this? This is the freaking bee bite I got on Saturday. Yeah? And I'm not bee man. I didn't get any kind of super mutant powers. That is not... You know what? You're nuts. I'm telling you. Look at him. Look. Spider-Man is like six feet tall. We all saw him. That is not Spider-Man. Yeah, man, you are really being silly. Then how do you explain those desks he broke? He's a spaz. He lit the lab on fire once. Doesn't make him the human torch. That's true. Or does it? <laughs> Remember that? He lost his eyebrows. <laughs> he looked like a Star Trek alien. And, and what about all of a sudden he could play basketball so good? Dude, he wasn't that good. Yes, he was. Says you. He was. You're the only one who thinks so, man. And even if he was like Michael Jordan out there, which he was so not, he wasn't flying around the court on his webs and stuff. I don't see how you can even think this. Dude. I play great b-ball. Do you think I'm like a mutant too? Oh, hey, what about when he flipped me over? Right here in the hall. Remember? I went to drop kick him and he whipped around and flipped me. Oh, oh, this is what this is about. You got dissed. Dude, he got a lucky shot in. Did the same to me that one time. Yeah, he broke your hand. Dude, I hit him wrong. You're absolutely nuts. Nuts! Yeah, I don't see it. How could you not see it? Come on, it's so obvious. Again, to you, I don't see it at all. You guys are so jakey. Well, there he is. Go ask him. Better yet. It's been a while since he went for a 10-pointer. Go over and kick him in the field goal. If he's Spider-Man, you ain't even gonna put in a dent. Guys, come on. Go right ahead. Proof is in the pudding. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a saying. It's a lame saying. I live for stuff like this. What the- Oh, come on. My spider sense is going off here at school. That can only mean one thing. And the Academy Award for Best Performance by an Amateur Superhero trying desperately to hold on to his secret identity goes to... <laughs> you guys are idiots. Ow! 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 Why did you... Ow! <laughs> Ooh, boy! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Ow! Ow! What exactly is your problem, fat boy? I... Uh... You ever do something like that again, and I'll stick you like the fat pig you are. What is this? Uh, why don't you kids ever learn to leave well enough up? And what is this now? Huh? What is this? Stacy. Great way to start at your new school. Second day here. Captain Stacy? Captain Stacy? Not now. Cap not now. This is Captain Stacy. What? She what? Did you call her mother? Because I'm... Well, there's really... Yes. But there's really nothing I can do at the moment. I'm at a crime scene that... Uh, what did she do this time? She what? Oh, Lord. No. No. No, I didn't know she had a knife, and... No, I certainly wouldn't have known she was bringing one to school. Well, no offense, Principal, but I just think your tone is a little accusatory. Especially since you are talking to a police captain. Well, you have to wonder what a woman who isn't married at that age is up to anyhow. Sir, please. If you could just stick to what you saw. Oh, I didn't see anything. I was on my walk. What do I think? I think you should confiscate the knife and put her back in the class. For now. For now. We, her parents, will deal with it ourselves when we get home. Well, if you send her home when no one is there, isn't she just going to get herself into more trouble than she would be in class? Hello? Hello? Uh, Captain Stacy? Hi. 
Ben Ulrich, Daily Bugle. I know who you are. Good job on the Kingpin story. Oh, thanks. Yeah, now we have 300 Goombas treating the tri-state area like a free-for-all. Are you serious? You journalists. It's called the big picture. Look it up. What's the story here, Captain? Don't you have sewer monsters to chase, Yurik? Are you confirming the existence of a sewer monster, Captain? Any comment? Yeah, the internet is the future. But don't quote me. Heads up! Huh? You, my friend, are exactly what the doctor ordered. I was actually looking for a big, bald bully to clock. Whoops! Oh, look at you! Putting up a little fight. That's cute! I actually appreciate the effort. Sometimes these pedestrian, non-supervillain type street encounters can look awfully lopsided. I mean, I usually fight guys who throw fireballs and electric bolts at me. So, the next time, really, you might want to think about getting some kind of gimmick if you're going to get into these situations with A-list superhero types like myself. Ma'am, it is my pleasure to bring you... Ta-da! Your purse back. Intact. Justice has been done. All is good in the world. Alrighty then. You see that? A guy can't jump around in his underwear and make a spectacle of himself without the ladies acting like he's some kind of guy running around in his underwear making a spectacle of himself. Hey, aren't you J. Jonah Jameson, editor-in-chief of the Daily Bugle? Aren't you the guy printing all that totally made-up garbage about me just to sell newspapers? Well, I only have one thing to say to you. The paper. It's hysterical. Wow. I thought he was going to. Yeah. I really did. Maybe he isn't the maniac you want him to be, Jonah. Let's let's just get inside the building where we're safe from Whoa! Jonah! Ah! So what, Yurik? Where's the angle? So then I did a little background check. And the person who rented this house just before this murdered woman was Dr. Otto Octavius. Huh. That name is vaguely... He was one of the chief scientists at Osborne Industries. Oh yeah, right. He died in that explosion. Ah, see. The thing is, he didn't. Come on, Ben! There's no death certificate. There's no death announcements. Plus, if you remember... A few weeks ago, I came in here and told you that my sources confirmed that Octavius was taken to a government hospital medical facility somewhere in South Jersey. Codename Octagon. Your sources. Octagon. And, and that same source called me out of the blue just yesterday to tell me, quote, Octavius escaped from the facility after murdering several government employees. Where is the supposed government facility exactly? I... I don't know. He won't say. Ben, this story has more holes in it than a Michael Bay movie! I'm sorry, who in this room broke the Kingpin story? Who is that? Raise your hands if... Oh, oh, it was me? Wow, and still I don't even get a little latitude in the 5 o'clock meeting. Ben! Jonah, you told us, me, to go for the big story. This could be a big story. The doctor was being observed because of complications in his condition brought on by the explosion at Osborne Industries. Complications in his condition? What does that mean? Considering what we know happened to Osborne in that explosion, considering we know something fishy went on around the cleanup- We do not know what happened to Osborne. Oh, come on. The words of a tortured teenage kid who's been shipped away to I'm a- I'm not getting into this with you again. Come on, Jonah. Something happened in that lab. Who knows what's going on with the good doctor right now? But I'm not going to know unless you let me go find out. Because I can tell you once the government finds him again, we sure aren't going to get an interview from him. So let's say it was Octavius. Let's say he killed some lady living in his house. Why? Who knows, Jonah? We don't know what state he's in. Maybe he didn't expect to find her there. Or maybe something horrible has happened to him and he's gone off the deep end. Or maybe he's just really, really angry at the world right now and he's looking for... 
I don't know. What do you think? You know what I think. All right, Ben. Find the good doctor for us. See what's on the doctor's mind. How do you sleep at night? I'd really like to know. Like a baby, I bet. Ah. But I wonder. I wonder if in that moment, just before you drift off at night, when your head hits the pillow, I wonder if you realize, just for a second, how evil you truly are. What an absolute horror of a human being you are. What? Oh, please, don't. Don't insult me with your sleazy used car salesman talk. I know it was you. I know you tried to kill me. It's just so hard to... It's just so hard to think. Blurry. Nauseous every time I try to focus. My body... My whole body hurts. My arms. No, I trusted you. I trusted you and now look at me. Look at what my life is because of you. I mean, it's... It's... <laughs> it's funny if you think about it, isn't it? Me trusting you? <laughs> Our entire relationship was based on lies and deceit. Our entire relationship was you paying me money to give you information that doesn't belong to you. And I gladly did so. You and I are liars and cheats. I guess you think you bought all the inside information about Norman Osborne you could from me. You ran out of uses for me, so you tried to destroy me. I know it was you, I just... I can't remember what you did. But a little industrial espionage between friends was alright. So what's a little industrial sabotage? I can't... I can't even remember what we were working on at Osborne. I can't remember. I... I went to the lab, to Osborne's labs, but... They're destroyed. Ah, it... It hurts, too. These arms are... Cold. I can feel them inside me. I can feel them right now. But I tell you this. You should have made sure I was dead. You should have made sure. You should have taken those oily fingers and checked my pulse yourself. Because now I will not rest until I see you destroyed. You hear me? You will feel what I feel. For what you've done to me. For what you've done to my life. My life! I will do it. I will ruin you. Ruin you. back of Australia, you see me wrestle 50-foot crocodiles. You see me box wild kangaroos, and you see me hunt and wrestle wild game with me own bare hands. But, starting next week, we are taking the whole show on the road, and broadcasting live from America, from the Big Apple, New York City. And when I get there, I'm going to be hunting the wildest game of them all. What is it, you ask? <laughs> Well, all I'm going to tell you now is that there isn't a creature on this planet that I can't hunt. Craven the Hunter. Reality TV just got more real. Check your policies. 57 channels and not one mention of Otto Octavius. You'd think a guy coming back from the dead would be considered newsworthy. Guess times are changing. Man, 
I thought there'd be some mention of him somewhere. That Craven the Hunter boy is one good-looking man. And when he gets here, I am going to have him. I'm really shocked to know that this Dr. Octavius guy is alive. He probably knows more about what happened to me than I do. He, like, totally knows I was bit by the spider that gave me my powers. I would love to be able to sit with him and figure out what's happened to me. But if he's in the condition everyone says he is, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do much of that. Plus, if memory serves, he wasn't the nicest guy to begin with. Kind of a weaselly weasel guy. Oh man, and like, how hard would it be for him to put two and two together and figure out that Spider-Man is the kid who got the spider powers in his lab? I mean, a kid at school almost did. And he's as dumb as a bag of hammers. But I think I wind my way out of that mess. They're probably more focused on the new psycho girl, Stacy. What's her name? Gwen. Gwen. I gotta call Mary Jane. But if there is someone like this Octavius out there who knows I am Spider-Man, what do I do? Do I not be Spider-Man anymore? Do I confront him? Ugh. Why is this all so complicated? Can't a guy put on tights and hop around without everything being so... Uh-oh. Enjoying your candy bar? Sure. Want some? I... I was waiting for my computer to reboot. Hello. Is Captain Stacy there? This is Ben Ulrich from the Daily Bugle. And... thanks for hanging up. Boy, boy, boy! Hey, Peter! You wouldn't happen to know where Dr. Otto Octavius is? No! No, no, of course not! No, I mean... why... why would I know? Yeah, uh... you might want to cut back on the sugar there, Sparky. Is Captain Stacy there? Yes, hi, this is Ben Ulrich from the Daily Bugle. Hung up again. I hate you, lady. Captain Stacy, Ben Ulrich from the Daily Bugle's on the line. Tell him I passed away. What? Gwendolyn, I can't believe it. I just can't. What were you thinking? Were you thinking? And where... Oh, where did you get a knife? I... What's your answer to that? I have all these men under my command, and I can't get my own daughter to do me the simple courtesy of not bringing a weapon to school. I... Should I put you in lockdown for a night? Would that snap you out of the sullen little phase you're going through? Because that's what they do, you know, to little girls who pull knives on fellow students whose fathers aren't police captains. They toss them in jail. Where are you going? I thought we were going to have a talk. This isn't a talk. This is you freaking out. So freak out by yourself. You sit back down, young lady. You know what really bums me out, Dad? Yes. Yes, I did bring a knife to school. I did pull it on a kid. And you know what? You never asked why. Maybe someone attacked me or tried to harm me. You never asked. I pulled the knife because of this big oaf, this total herb, was attacking this cute little Peter Parker boy for no reason. Guy just walked right up to him and started kicking him so his friends would laugh. And this idiot was going to keep kicking him unless someone stopped him, so I stopped it. You look me right in the eye and you tell me I did the wrong thing. You tell me, Dad! You can't pull knives on other students. You can't bring- Well, I do it again in a second. So you might as well lock me in jail, Dad. Captain, your mom is on line seven. Mom? Grams? Hi, Captain. This is Ben Ulrich from the Daily Bugle. Did I catch you at a bad time? I hate you. I really do. The murder on Ranson. Do you know who rented the place prior to the woman we saw this morning? Who? Otto Octavius. Doctor Otto Octavius. Is this a riddle? This is a doctor of some accolade who disappeared in an explosion to Osborne Industries. And? And I have a source that says he's been sighted in that area. Then all of a sudden, the woman living in his old apartment is dead for no good reason. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll look into that. Gwen? 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 Come on, don't go like that. You can't just... Out of my way, please. I need to... Captain John Stacy? Hi. We need to talk to you about the homicide case on Racine. I'm sorry, you'll have to talk to the homicide detectives in charge of the... We'd appreciate if you could show us what you have on the case. And you are? We're federal, that's all we can say. Uh-huh. 
And do you have some kind of ID, or... Of course. Wait. Does this have anything to do with Dr. Otto Octavius? Oh, that's great, Captain. Listen, I was wondering if you had any information about... Hello? Hello? Oh, and he escaped from a hospital, and uh, he might just be insane. Listen up, kids. Anybody want to go over to Hammer Towers and see what's going on about a break-in? Yawn. We got something about a guy crawling up the side of the building with mechanical arms or something. Stunt. Maybe. But Fox has tourist home video of it, and I'd like one of you to get inside and get the real story. <sighs> this here is Dr. Otto Octavius. Doc Ock? Dr. Octavius. He's a big brain around here. Very big brain. Scary big. No way. That's a shame. It's quite a likeness of you. It's not me, it's my daddy. It looks just like you. A lot of people make that mistake. I always tell people the only difference between me and my daddy is that I would never ever hang a giant portrait of myself in my corporate office. Give this one up to honor the man. He built all this from a bucket of moonshine, you know? That and bookmaking. I am S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Sharon Carter, sir. Colonel Fury, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., and the President have both asked me to send their warmest regards, and asked us to look into this matter personally. Now, why would a frisky organization like S.H.I.E.L.D. be sending a couple of young bucks like yourselves over to investigate a break-in of a Manhattan office? Nothing was even taken. Nothing was taken, sir? No, sir. No, sir, she replies. And you weren't here when the break-in took place? No, I was at my casino in Atlantic City. Entertainer. Did anybody call the police? No, they knew better. It's an old casino rule. You don't announce to the public that someone even tries to rob you. First off, it gives others ideas, and second, it makes you look weak. Go? No, thank you. They won't let me smoke anymore. So I'm going to have to ask you boys again. Why does S.H.I.E.L.D. care about this? They are politely asking you to leave. Okay, what we are about to tell you is Level 7 Classified, and it falls under the Quartermain Oath you took in 1997. Okay. This stays in this room. Okay. Do you know who Dr. Otto Octavius is? No. I have met him. Colonel Fury is gonna need more than that. Then he can call me. What of the good doctor? He was in the accident at Osborne Labs. Ah, yes, the accident. Poor family. And he has been in our custody ever since. But he escaped. And... and he came here. The explosion fused a robotic apparatus he often used to his midsection. The arms? You mean his metal arms? Yes. Get out of town! He has suffered severe trauma to his torso and to his head. He has amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia? He doesn't even remember the explosion. He doesn't remember a lot of things. He told the agents in charge of him that he doesn't even remember what they were working on when the accident happened. Get out of town! He's very confused and manic. He has killed a number of people, agents and civilians, and we are assuming that this visit here means you might be next. Do you know why? I honestly don't. I... Are you people out of your mind? I'm sorry, sir. We have orders. This is certainly the place to be tonight. As star of the number one show in syndication, Craven the Hunter has landed right here in the heart of New York City. The press is gathered to find out just what the master showman has up his sleeve. Craven, the world wants to know, what could possibly be in New York City for you to hunt that you couldn't find in another country? I'm here to hunt a one-of-a-kind species. I'm here to hunt the one you call Spider-Man. And, uh, what are you going to do with him when you find him? Oh, I'm going to kill him with me bare hands. <laughs> what did we say about eating in the living room? Did we say we liked it? Have I ever laughed at that joke? Did you see what that guy on TV just said? 
Guy said he was going to kill Spider-Man right on TV. Are you ready for school? Right on TV? Guy said he was going to- You going to the bugle after school? Yeah, yeah. You have money for dinner? Yeah. No more of those street pretzels. They upset your tummy. I'll see you tonight, sweetie. Guy says he's going to kill you on a morning talk show? What a completely crappy way to start the day. What do you think? Where did you get the picture? We dressed up Eddie the Grip, did the rest in Photoshop. I'm still not 100% into this. Tough. This ship has sailed. The word is out. Don't sweat it, Crave Baby. That's what I'm for. I sweat, you hunt. It's cheap theatrics. And it'll keep you on the air for another two years. And that's all I care about. And it's all you should care about, too. We need 100 episodes in the can. 100 and we're in syndication heaven. Seinfeld money. 100 and then we can all sit margaritas by the sea mamacita. And at this moment in time, we are only at 66 and the demos are sliding. Sliding demos are not good. But this baby, this is testing very well. It's water cooler stuff. It's talk show monologue stuff. And next, I tell you what else we need to do. We need to up her role in the show. Having the hot girlfriend is good and all, but we need to get her out in the spotlight. Some merchandising, some TV spots. She is, she is Joaquinda Youch. <laughs> you know, this is the opposite of what you told me two years ago. What happened to tempering the act for the American audiences? What happened to- And, and two years ago I was right. Uh, but now, uh, now I'm right again. Craven, baby, for the next six months, you are going to be sex and violence personified. Ratings go up. We hit our mark. After that, you can look in the camera and read The Great Gatsby for all I care. But the good news for all of us is you are sex and violence personified. So just be yourself. Be you being you. Focus that incredible charm and prowess right here, right now. Have fun with it. Do your thing. Hunt. Say what you will. But I actually think this is going to be one of the biggest challenges of your career. That's an interesting question, Peter. But what about the Kennedy-Nixon debate? The first televised presidential debate. People in the room where the debate was taped, uh, people who were there, say Nixon clearly won the debate. But everyone watching on TV at home thought that Kennedy had won. Why? Because Kennedy looked better on TV. Many people believe this single moment changed politics forever. I think it changed the entire world forever. Name one thing that television doesn't- I'm sorry to interrupt the class, Mrs. Harris, but young Miss Stacy is being allowed back into class, if that's all right with you. Her father, Police Captain Stacy, has guaranteed there will be no more incidents like the one last week. Uh, sure. But first, she has something to say. Yeah, uh... I guess I just wanted to tell you all that I'm sorry I pulled a knife out and that I didn't mean any harm or nothing. I <laughs> I know you don't know me or anything and I just came to this school, but, but I'm not like crazy girl looking to terrorize the school or anything. I just got bummed out when I saw all the bullying going on. I don't like bullies, but I know that's no excuse and I... So I do apologize for the knife, and I won't, I won't do it again. All right, go sit down, Gwen. Remember, we have the General Assembly in ten minutes. I think you'll all like what I have to tell you. See you there. Well, okay. We only have a couple of minutes before the Assembly, so let's take the time to go over any questions about- Actually, I have something else to say. I think we need some more apologizing. I'm sorry. No, not from you. From this chubby load. I think that this guy needs to apologize to this guy for starting this all in the first place. What? Did you ever apologize for kicking him? No. Well, 
Miss Stacy, are you looking to get expelled yet again? No, ma'am. So, may I continue teaching my class? You may. Lord in heaven. All right, since we only have a couple of minutes before the assembly, so let's take the time to go over any questions about... Gag. Birth defect. Any questions about the assignment? Does anyone have any questions about the assignment? The Be a Superhero assignment? Now is the time. I, um, I have something to say. Yes, Liz? I think it's a bad idea. I'm sorry? The assignment. I, I think it's a bad idea. I mean, this is social studies, not dress-up day. And I think it's irresponsible of you to even, like, do it at all. I mean, our school was, like, almost trashed by this mutant monster thing. And now you want us all to, like, play mutant dress-up or whatever? Like, like, why don't we just do social studies? Why are you making us do this? Well, Liz, the assignment is to help you study the environment around you from another perspective. Well, whatever, because I told my mom about it and she's bringing it up at the next PTA meeting and stuff. She said that mutant stuff shouldn't, like, even be in the classroom. Uh -huh. Does anyone else share Miss Allen's views? Anyone? Well, it's about time for the assembly. We'll discuss this another time. It's time for the assembly. Please, sir. I was trying to tell you. I don't need to hear your excuses. No, sir, I do not. So what I need from you, Dr. Sir, is what I pay you for. I need major firepower. I need back up, and I needed it yesterday. Yes, sir. I, I was just explaining to you that our experiments here are still in awkward stages. These are new frontiers we are embarking on. Science isn't, well, it isn't exact science. And as your project projection specs clearly show, none of the other works are anywhere near ready yet. I, we, I have nothing suitable for your particular needs. Hmm, well, what about that electric boy? That seemed to be working out just fine. Electro? Yes, sir. You, well, you sold him to Wilson Fisk. I think he's back in prison now. Oi, oi, oi. Wilson Fisk, Wilson Fisk. Why'd I do that again? The construction contracts for the dome. Well, that was money well spent. But well, what about the Sandman project? That's costing a small fortune. Yes, and it's going fine, but as you can see, we are having a couple of bumps in the road. Timmy, V the 5-6-S to Hammer 1. That's it? What's wrong with the boy? Nothing. It's all in his head. He has the ability to control his mass and density, but... But the transition was too great a shock on him. He's having a great deal of trouble adjusting, but we're trying to work with him. I really... I don't believe it's a lost cause. Well, there's even more money well spent. And you've got nothing else. If I may be so bold, Mr. Hammer, sir, why don't you just cooperate with S.H.I.E.L.D. on this? Didn't you say that Octavius escaped from them in the first place? Isn't this their responsibility? Oh yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. is just the organization I'm going to explain how, like Norman Osborn, I am knee-deep in violations against the Superhuman Test Ban Treaty, and how Otto Octavius was an industrial spy for me at Osborn Industries, and that now he's out to get me because he thinks I shafted him somehow. And I'll tell them all this while I have a four billion dollar arms contract hanging in the balance with the U.S. government. Yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a real good bet. How far do you think Nick Fury will shove that eye patch of his up my nose before he's done with me? Leave the big game to the big boys, Doctor. And I will leave the incredibly slow and arduous process of spending all of my money on unbelievably poor results to you. Give me a copy of Dr. Scurdy's contracts, please. Yes, sir. And after years of development, after years of dedication from some of the greatest minds of our time, it is my proud honor to announce that New York's energy crisis is coming to an end.
because as you can see over my shoulder, construction of the Big Apple Energy Dome project is already underway. In conjunction with Con Edison and Hammer Industries, the Dome project will finally give New York an abundance of affordable and alternative energy sources. Now I'm not going to bore you with all the technical mumble jumbo, I'm going to leave that to the man of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you New York's favorite son, the owner of Hammer Towers, the Hammer Casino in Atlantic City and the president and CEO of one of the most flourishing industrial complexes in the entire world, Justin Hammer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is a proud day for all of us. I remember as a boy watching in frustration as this city was victim to blackouts and brownouts and skyrocketing energy prices and I vowed that one day I would do something to help. I knew that the only way this city could truly thrive is by overcoming its decades-long energy crisis. Now I soon realized that I wasn't nearly smart enough to figure out how to do this myself. But I was smart enough to invest in people who were. The best and the brightest, as you can see projected live right behind me. I was smart enough to invest in people who were. Now that's a guy who likes the sound of his own voice. Oh, like you don't. Not like this guy. And after years of testing and analysis, we are on the cusp of unveiling a groundbreaking mixture of energy technologies. With a hybrid of solar, electric, and nuclear energies, this city will be safer and less expensive to run. Is there anything else on? Oprah. Good lord. And if you go to our website at www.justinhammer.com, you will find more specific information about the construction of the dome and our projected timeline for its debut launch. Somebody please kill me. I'm not being paid enough to listen to this. Wait, what is this? Mr. Hammer, Eddie Brock, Daily Globe. Rumors are floating that Hammer Industries is working on a similar product to the one that caused the fatal accident at rival Osborne Industries? Is that true? And is there any concern on your part that a similar accident could take place at one of your laboratories? I can honestly say I have no idea what you are referring to, but we're here to talk about the Dome Project. So do you have any questions about the subject at hand? Because we'd be happy to answer them, even if they're from the globe. Okay, how do you respond to the recent allegations made by CNN that you have been secretly funding the development and training of superpowered- I'm surprised to find the globe even here today. I thought you might have your hands full with things like Reed Richards sleeping with Madonna. I've actually heard that one before, sir. Ben Ulrich, Daily Bugle. Mr. Hammer, what is the nature of your relationship to Dr. Otto Octavius? I, uh, I don't know anyone by that name. Well, he knows you. Good afternoon, students. So how many of you know the television show Craven the Hunter? Well, we have just been informed by their production company that a segment of the Craven show will be taping right here at our school tomorrow. Hell yeah! This is important. If you do want to appear on the show, you're going to have to have your parents sign this release form. If you do not do this, your hair will appear all tiled out and you won't get on TV. So make sure to take a release form from your homeroom teacher and bring it home tonight. Hold on. What? Oh no. What? Okay now. Now everyone remain calm. We just received word that there's been some kind of trouble in the city. We are still getting details, but... But the authorities have asked us to ask you to remain seated and remain calm. Go. This is an NYPD chopper one. We have a visual on the dome front. It looks like a Niner Zero Niner. Over. Someone please get these news copters out of the area. Over. Channel 4, this is the NYPD one. Stand down. Please evacuate your present location immediately. Over. Dispatch, requesting heavy patrol backup on the ground. There's a small riot going on at the pier. Over. Coast Guard is on its way. The EMS has been alerted. Over. I don't think we can land on the project. The bright idea was to build a nuclear facility by the pier. This is Capture 56, over. You guys have a visitor. What are you talking about? Over. Dude, I'm telling you, you got a stowaway. Stowaway? What does that mean? Hamana, 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 hamana. So this was a much better idea in theory than in execution. What am I doing? Mr. Hammer, we must get you out of here. 
Helicopter 44, what's your situation? Over. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Over. Oh, come on! I am trying to help! Oh my god. Hold on, man, hold on! Uh, the reactor. I don't know if I should move you, I, I don't... Where does it hurt? What? Run away. What? Oh no. And what is this ridiculousness? What? I said... Uh, you should talk! Ah. My eyes! Hate to break it to you, but your eyes are the least of your problems. First of all, green jumpsuit? I got two words for you. Ease Fashion Emergency. Get you on there, let them fix you up with a look that says, Sure, I may be a homicidal maniac who just tried to take over a nuclear power plant on the shores of the most populated city in the country, but I have a style all my own. Alrighty then. He broke my webbing. Great. I didn't know it could break. Maybe I didn't mix the batch the way it's supposed to... What? Hey, so what's your secret origin anyway? Some sort of freak accident with a radioactive toilet snake? If so, please spare me the details. Aren't you worried about- Please be quiet. What a curious, curious sight you are. I would love to dissect you. What are you? Law enforcement? Shield? Oh, yes. Yes, I know. You're one of Justin Hammer's homemade soldiers. Well, is that the case? Is it? No. Uh, no. I'm the haircut police. There's a $50 fine for bow cuts in this city. I like my hair. Ow! 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 You know, uh, you're... Uh, ow! You're much stronger than you look! But, uh, I... I guess you'd have to be! You have completely ruined my mood. Okay! Okay! Your hair is fabulous! That's... Ah. My neck! I'm not doing so well here. I'm going to black out. My spine... Feels like it's going to pop! What are you? You little freak? Well... If that ain't the pot, call the kettle! Ow! I can't... Ow! He's all over me. Arms everywhere. Can't shake him. I thought this would be easier. I thought I could... Could help. Gonna get you? You were these people? Over here. Captain, we have him over here. Is he awake? Take off his mask. He's awake, he's up! Lieutenant, over here! Stay down, stay down! Don't you move! Don't you move a muscle or I will blow your head off! What? What's going on? Hey! He's up, don't you move! Put your hands on the floor! Hands on the floor! What happened to- Shut up! Lie on the ground with your hands over your head! The guy with the arms... Put your hands on the floor! Hands on the floor! Okay. Okay. I mean it, you mutant freak! I will blow your head off! I... I don't know what to do! I... I can't fight the police! Oh, man... They're the... You have till the count of three! Okay, but... Hey, listen... Ow! Listen! I'm not the guy who... Don't give me your song and dance! Joseph, cuff the mute! Who are you? 
were federal. Let's leave it at that. Oh no. Uh, you shield. Well, tough nuggies either way. This is our collar. <laughs> tough nuggies? Good for you, but we're taking him. Make a move and you're a pile of dust. But there's Listen, a... lady. Lord in heaven, calm yourself, officer. You have This is ours. There are hurt civilian people here for you to This is our territory! This is our bust! Should we demask the perp Agent Carter? You know what, lady? I want to see some ID. You can't just waltz in Agent here. Agent Carter, should you we- You can't just waltz in here and... Do you know what a 45 Article B is, officer? It's a federal offense. It means obstructing federal officers while in pursuit of a- What? Should we demask him, then shackle him, because we Are don't- Are threatening me? Well, if you think I would even blink before clapping the cuffs on you as well, you're living in a dream world, pal. Are you guys getting this? Stand down, Lieutenant. I want to see some ID, girl. Hey, is that Charlton Heston? I... Ah! What is this? Thank God my web shooters are still working. Oh man, I'm gonna heave. Total head spins. What? This is Carter. Suspect is open. I repeat, suspect is open. Information. Dive. I have visual! Yes, of course. We have confirmed that the nuclear facility is intact. As promised by our team of experts, the nuclear core could, in fact, withstand any duress. He will attempt to sabotage. I'm sorry we had to find out in such a fashion. But we do know that the dome facility is secure and running. Mr. Hammer, reports of a man identified as Otto... At this moment, we are much more concerned about the well-being of the staff that were injured in the attack. Are there any leads as to who and what? I'm working with the authorities to find out exactly what happened. We are very concerned. Very concerned about this Spider-Man character. Oh, come on! Stop moving. No! Do you think the Spider-Man character may be to blame? Was he working with a partner? There were reports of a man identified as Otto. I really don't have enough information at this time to make such a claim. But all I do know is that it was an act of cowardice. I hope the authorities will bring in this, this Spider-Man person as soon as possible. God! Ignore him. Every time, MJ! Every time I put on this costume, someone does this to me? Who cares? Forget him. I tried to help. You did help from the sound of it. No, I got my butt kicked. Again. Ah, and now, and now this guy is on TV. Maybe you should take a class or something. A class? Like a kung fu class. Get some, I don't know, some moves? I was thinking that. Ow, but this is really, this guy... This really bums me out. Why would he say that? He knows that this doctor guy with the arms is after him. He knows that. Why would he blame it on me? What did I do? I tried to help. Hello? I tried to help? There's a cycle beginning here of me trying to help, me getting my butt kicked up and down the street, and me trying to figure out what went wrong while the news has a field day. It's a cycle and I... I hate it! No one does this crap to Captain America or Iron Man. Just me. Every time. Maybe it's the costume. What? You asked me for reasons. You don't like the costume? <sighs> Never mind. Have you seen Daredevil's costume? He looks like a complete tool and nobody blames nuclear sabotage on him. Are you okay? No. I gotta go home. Are you okay? I know. It's really late, and I haven't even done my trig yet. I know. How are you going to explain the cuts and the bruise and stuff? I don't know. I'll... I think I'll pretend to be asleep when Aunt May gets home. Hey, maybe you should just skip school tomorrow. Maybe. Heal up. Oh, and that Craven guy is coming looking for Spider-Man anyhow. Yeah, no. No? If I don't show up, Kong will start running around school screaming that I'm Spider-Man again. Oh. Nuts. Maybe he won't? He will. It's too much... He'll... Yeah. But listen, tomorrow, after school, I'll come over and we'll fix the costume and, you know, sew some new... And, well, you know, tomorrow is another day.
Hey, if I fix the costume, can I wear it for the superhero assignment? No. No? I know you. You'll cut the belly off it. Ha! <laughs> you wish. You know, I was this close to being Spider-Man. How many times do I have to hear that? <laughs> That's the price you pay for all of this. You'll help me with this? I'm like the Betsy Ross of superheroes. Was it Betsy Ross? Yes. Okay, then. And maybe, you know, we'll do some more of that other stuff we were just doing. You sure you have to go? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Police are asking for any information regarding the man known around the city as Spider-Man to contact them via the police website. And speaking of this Spider-Man, I don't know about you, Jim, but let's hope this Craven the Hunter teaches that little weasel that you don't mess with New Yorkers. <laughs> oh, come on! You bet, Diane! <laughs> and after the break, we're going to meet the man who says the Hulk changed his life. But in a good way. Let's recap, shall we? I have a whacked-out-of-his-mind doctor guy with crazy mechanical arms on the loose, who, on a side note, may or may not eventually remember that he knows he was there when I became Spider-Man and therefore knows my secret identity. I got some cheeseball TV show host who's ready to hunt me down in the street so he can kill me for the ratings. And nobody thinks this is a bad idea. I have the police looking for me. I have some weirdo government agents with big laser beams after me. I have been beat up so bad I'm afraid to show my face in public. I was chased underwater by a SWAT team shot at, accused of nuclear terrorism, and, and, I lost my costume in a fight, again! Maybe it's time to finally admit I'm not really cut out for this gig. Maybe I'm just too young to be doing it. Maybe it's time to hang it up before something really bad happens. Before I do something to hurt Mary Jane or, or scare Aunt May. Peter, I'm home. <sighs> Are you home, honey? I brought you nuggets. Did you put the mail anywhere? I'm still waiting for that thing. Uh, did... You didn't happen to see if it came today, did you? Are you home, Peter? Idiot! Peter? I'm in the bathroom. Are you okay, sweetie? Uh, bad poops. Oh, honey, what did I tell you about those street vendor pretzels? Uh, can we not do this now? Can I get you anything? No, I... I just need to lie down and be left alone. Oh, okay. Let me know if you need anything. I just... please. I have dinner for you if you want it later. Okay. Big time superhero. Okay, so when Craven gets here, just... Go about your day, keep talking amongst yourselves, don't applaud or engage him in any way, just act casual. We are here filming what we call coverage, which means that there is no audio, just visual of Craven the Hunter tracking his prey. Have any of you seen the Craven the Hunter show? Hell yeah! Yeah! That's just great. Just great. Well, Craven is here as part of our Spider-Man special. He's here because this is one of the first places Spider-Man was ever seen. Lord. Told you. Hey, what did your aunt say when she saw your face? I ran out of the house before she got out of her shower. It's healing. Not fast enough. So please, and this is important, don't, do not engage Craven directly unless he talks to you first. And Craven will not be signing autographs today. What? Man, that is bullshit. Neither will I, by the way. Stacy. But we will be giving away hats and t-shirts after the taping, so everyone just be cool, relax, and just act natural. <laughs> I haven't acted natural since the third grade. And what happened to your face? Nothing. Nothing? Good lord. I fell. You fell? What, off the Empire State Building? Wow, does it hurt? Only when I exist. Man, you are one spastic herb. Well, we all have those things. That make us, us. 
Did any of those jerks do this to you? No, no, I really fell. Mary was there. Mary? He fell. Right. Right down the stairs. Down the stairs. Wow. Okay, then. Hey, don't look now. But here comes a big, cheesy TV star. But the question is, Craven, why Spider-Man? Ms. Brandt, it is my calling. Life is a series of challenges, and this, this is the next great challenge. Uh-huh. Yes, but don't you think with the recent events at the Nuclear Dome Project, with Spider-Man being called to blame for his involvement in what has been called nuclear terrorism, don't you think that you should leave Spider-Man to the proper authorities and leave him out of whatever game you're playing here? Game? Well, this, this, this hunting a man for sport is all fun and games. A real audience grabber for sure, but now there are some serious allegations flying around about this Spider-Man and... Do you think I'm joking? Joking? No. I do not joke when it comes to the hunt. Okay, then. If anything, now I realize what the hunt has called me to this place for. I'm helping the authorities. Tracking a wanted man. Alrighty. But Spider-Man was here weeks ago. The goblin fight, that was weeks ago. To you. Hey guys, is it me? Or does he smell vaguely of kitty litter? Because I... Huh? What do you think? Hey, look at that! Try it on! Wow! Man, I don't know what I would have done without you! You don't have super sewing powers? I don't even have the power not to lose my costume in the middle of a fight! So, hey... Uh... Do you like... like that one girl? Uh, she's alright. Kind of screwy, don't you think? Yeah. But hey, she's a lot more interesting than everyone else we know. Gotta give her that. True. Ta-da! What? Are you leaving? Where are you going all of a sudden? I have a lot of homework, so... Wait! What? Are you mad at me? No. No? No. Are you mad? I'm not. You seem mad. Well, I'm not. Can I go? Mr. Hammer! Mr. Hammer! Why do you think Spider-Man is after you? Uh, please! A, a statement! Who is this auto octave? Will you abandon the drone project? Are you a target of anti-nuclear? You're handling this quite well, sir. Be quiet. Dr. Skirtick is calling from the lab in Jersey. Tell him to stay away from me before I go over there and beat him with my shoe. Mr. Hammer's in a meeting, Doctor. Can I- Where were you and your brain when my property was being destroyed, you phony shit? Did anyone from S.H.I.E.L.D. call? The government people? No, sir. That's not good. I thought you wanted to avoid them until this auto person. But I didn't want them avoiding me. That's... That's just not good. This day is going rather badly. How do you think I feel? Man, you stink. You do. You entirely stink. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the stinkiest, you're like a 14. Is this really Madonna's phone number? Holy mother- Keep it in your pants, shorty. Ah. You too, Slappy. Ah. Ah. Oh, uh, sorry. You, you, you've got some nerve coming up here, young man. Oh, put a sock in it, Grand Moff Tarkin. I just wanted to look you in the face and tell you that I was, in fact, trying to help you yesterday. I was trying to do the right thing. Remember? The right thing? Ever hear of it? And so you go and trash me on the news like that? What? Trying to divert everyone's attention from the fact that Dr. Octopus is looking to kill you or something? Actually, yes. Well, I've had a bad enough public image without you. Thank you very much. So I just swung by, literally, to tell you that now, you can marry Doc Ock for all I care. You deserve each other. I'm going home to watch Letterman. How much? How much what? How much to take care of it. 
Take care of what? The doctor with arms. How much do you want to take care of him? Take care of him how? What? 50,000. Are you serious? I never joke about money, boy. First, you slam me in the press for trying to help you. And now, you offer me money to do what I was willing to do for free before you slammed me in the press for doing it? Wow, you are exactly what they refer to when they say some piece of work. Really was worth a shot. I thought you handled that quite well, sir. Be quiet. Justin Hammer? Yes, he's right here. What? It's Dr. Skurdick again. He says it's very important. Was I too subtle with him on the elevator? Put it on the screen. Are you trying to be the focal point of all my rage, Doctor? Because if so, it's working. Yes? Doctor, can you hear me? Otto, what, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? What do you want from me, Otto? I don't even understand what this is about. Really? What, what's happened to you? Why are you so angry with me? It's called payback. Payback for what? For what? For this. Otto, listen to me. I have no idea how you got this way. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know why you're mad at me. But you should know me well enough to know that this nonsense isn't the way to get my attention. You want to say something to me? You have a problem with me, you tell me to my face. True. Fine. Come to me then. I'll tell you to your face. Let's make a deal. You know, Otto, if you harm me, you get nothing. You know that. I do. Please, call the police, sir. To where should I call them? My genetics lab in New Jersey? Show them my illegal experiment, shall I? But, sir, this... this is... I can handle this. I didn't get where I am by running to mommy. Every man has a price. Sir... Be quiet. What is everyone honking at? We're in a limo on the Jersey Turnpike. People, they think they're honking at Bon Jovi. Craven, baby! Get dressed! We just got a Spider-Man sighting on... I Oh. Hey! Oh, sorry, mate. Where is he? Jeez. Get this. He's riding on top of a limo, going down the Jersey Turnpike. The bus is ready. Let's get him. Television history is calling. I'm going to. Sorry, Miss Brandt. The network gets broadcast exclusive. No print media allowed. Forget it, buddy. I'm going to- New York <gasps> women ever shut up? To Beatty. It's time to hunt. There's no one at the check gate, sir. Just, just drive up. Sir? He gets nothing if he kills me. Nothing if he kills me. What is that? Oh, no. And there he is. Ladies and gentlemen of the prince. The man who made me what I am today. The man who turned my life into the horror you see before you. Any questions? Okay, you ready? And here we are. The hunt is almost over. We have just received word from our local affiliates here in New York City that Spider-Man, Craven the Hunter's elusive prey, has been spotted in the wilds of New Jersey. He was last seen riding on top of a limousine down the Jersey Turnpike. The unidentified limo has reportedly pulled into a factory owned by famous entrepreneur Justin Hammer. We're a rather odd bloke named Otto Octavius, who has been in the headlines for the last couple of days, has called an impromptu press conference of some kind. We don't know the story behind this Octavius fellow yet, but as this is a pre-taped broadcast and as the press conference is going on even as we speak, by the time you see this broadcast, all should be made clear to all of us about just what- God! See, this is why I don't want to do this now. What? You're improvising and you aren't making any sense. Just say, we found Spider-Man and we're on our way to him. Then we pan over, we show a shot of Craven meditating, and that's it. Okay, uh, okay. The rest is just gibber gabber. As you can see, the entire crew of the Craven the Hunter show has packed itself onto the Craven American tour bus. As regular viewers know, Craven's pre-hunt meditation ritual is the single most important part of the hunt. 
But with the complexity of modern society and the opportunity afforded us by this oh-so-rare Spider-Man sighting, Craven will forgo the hunt and instead face his prey head-on, head-to-head, in front of the world press. I am whispering to give Craven all due respect as he focuses his spirits on his ancient ritual meditation. But just what kind of battle awaits Craven? This American Spider-Man is an unknown entity, a foe beyond anything he has ever faced before. And cut. I do believe this is television history. Ladies and gentlemen of the stilted and ignorant press, today you are going to hear the shocking confessions of a manipulative and truly evil man. The man who turned my normal life of science into what you see before you. The man who made me, Otto Octavius, into a mockery called Dr. Octopus. The man who behind the walls of this factory behind me has committed crimes against mankind that you have only read about in science fiction. Come on out, Justin Hammer. Confess your sins for all the world to hear. Confess your sins. Prepare yourself for the next life. Because it is coming sooner than you think. Come on, Hammer. Come on out and talk to your adoring public. Control room standing by. Are you kidding this? Come on, Hammer. All those yammering, self-serving press conferences you throw yourself. And now finally, you have something to talk about, and you're being shy. Sir, please. I can turn this boat around and get us out of here. Then do it! didn't deserve this, Judith. You will not deny me again. Oh, man. Tell the station to go live. Go live now. You hear me? You hear me, Hammer? This day is long, long overdue. You will pay for your greed. You will answer for your... (laughs) Whoa! (laughs) Here we go. That's it, Octopussy. I can't watch any more of this. Have you no heart? Have you no feelings? Haven't people in limos been persecuted enough? Man, my instincts stink. My instincts stink just about as much as your haircut. (laughs) See, the thing is... I still kind of feel bad for you and your silly arms incident. So I'm all like, maybe he just needs a hug. Plus, and I don't mind telling you, I've been known to, like, jump into a fight too quickly. Jumping to conclusions based on appearances and sometimes picking the wrong side of a fight. See, Otto, can I call you Otto? This time, I say to myself, I say, Spidey, don't just jump in blind. There's innocent people about it. Hold back and see what's what. And the one time I remember to do all this, and you're acting all like Dennis Hopper in any of his early to mid-90s movie roles. You okay? Are you hit? Well, yikes and all that. I didn't know you could open fire, now did I? Why do you keep showing up in my life? Who are you? Another genetic freak put together by Hammer's lunatic son. You should talk. No, I'm a genetic freak all of my own. Thank you very much. You are a nuisance and I will have no more. See, look at this. You don't have to be a lunatic. You can rent yourself out as a children's ride. You don't have to be all... For those just joining us, the scene here in front of Hammer Industries has become a full-out superhero battle royale. Spider-Man has again leapt to the rescue of Justin Hammer and this crowd of gathered reporters. I cannot think of another time when the press had a front seat for such an amazing display like this. Spider-Man's efforts are seemingly without any concern for his own well-being. He is blocking Octavius' strikes at every turn. And, by the looks of it, Spider-Man is trying to keep him away from the reporters and cameramen who have stayed to witness this amazing event. An event where so many questions are still unanswered. Why has Otto Octavius called the press to this location? What is his agenda with Justin Hammer? Should we cancel? Turn around? Yeah, right. With a live news broadcast underway, are you kidding me? Does he blame Hammer for his amazing situation? Wow, they broke into Leno. 
And what exactly is Spider-Man's connection to all of this? Why is Spider-Man risking his own life to spare the life of Hammer, who has been so hostile to him in the press? Oh my god. All good questions. And all questions for which we will stay on the air until they are... <gasps> oh, hold on. We're going to have to... Oh, something's happening! Spider-Man seems to be at a loss and... <clears throat> I am entirely sick of you. So, uh, hey! Uh, where do all these little gadgets and doodads come from? The sharper image catalog for megalomaniacs? These are new adjustments. I'm not going to be the monster other men would make me. I am my own creation. I am in control of my own destiny. Good for you! I, on the other hand, am barely in control of my own bladder at this point. Did you get that? You're a coward, Hammer. Hiding behind your little freaks. It's time to show these people what you are. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Who's the monster now, Hammer? Who's the monster now? You... You didn't deserve this. Oh, oh. What is... Tiny whiteies? Well, that explains everything. This is Tracy Hale, reporting live. It... it appears to be over. Otto Octavius has been subdued by Spider-Man. From here, it looks like Spider-Man is hurt or wounded. It's hard to say. I'm... I'm going to attempt to get a statement out of him and see if... Come on. <coughs> Don't these people know I have a curfew? Our time has come, insect! Our battle is now! Uh-huh. Whatever. Actually, why don't you and your little buddies help me get this girl out of the car? Because I think she's in shock or something. Are you okay? Is he okay? I... I think he's dead. Oh, man. I think he had a heart attack. He's... He's dead. Hey, listen. I'm going to rip the door off. Can you grab the girl? But try not to... Uh... What are you doing? We will do battle! No, we won't! Are you kidding me? Hey man, I am not in the mood for this! Dude, cut it out! Seriously, stop it! Hey, what is wrong with you? I told them not to. I told them to stop it. You all saw. Craven. Crave, baby. Sleepy. Huh. I thought he had superpowers or something. Showbiz phony. Oh, man, I almost forgot. Hey, hey! Are you okay in there? Some kind of night, huh? If you can move, take my hand. There you go. There you go. Tell me you got it. Shh. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, thanks. Anybody headed back towards Manhattan? I kinda need a ride. That's... that was amazing. Uh, not really. Two people died. Did you know Justin Hammer? No. But he trashed you in the press. He tried to blame you for all of this. Well, yeah. But that has nothing to do with this. It's sad when someone dies for no good reason like that. Wait! Can we ask you some questions? No. No? I'd rather not. But what you did here was amazing. You... you saved all of us from what was surely- Well, be sure to return the favor by calling me a mutant freak or blaming this whole thing on me or something. Well, it's just that no one knows anything about you. Maybe... 
Maybe if you talked with us for a second, we are live on the air right now. We are? We have been this entire time. The Otto Octavius fight, this craven business, it all went out live. But everyone wants to know, who are you? Well, I'm from a planet many galaxies far, far away from here where people and spiders mate and live in harmony. What? I'm just joking. I'm just like this guy. And I fell backwards into some powers. And I'm trying to do what I can so that people like that don't try to hurt people like you. But why wear a mask? Well, it's no big conspiracy or anything. I just want to do what I can for people. But I have family and friends, and I don't want to, like, put their lives in danger just because they know me. I want to protect them. So, yeah, I wear a mask. It's pretty simple, really. But people might have a hard time trusting someone dressed like this. Well, I have a hard time trusting people who wear those hats with a beer can on each side, so... Listen. I know it's corny, but the outfit means something to me. And yeah, even though my wearing the mask might have idiots like that trying to use me to get attention for themselves, and people like that low J. Jonah Jameson at the Bugle trying to use me to sell papers by trashing the crap out of me all the time, I... I just don't care. Why don't you care? Because a guy a whole lot smarter than any of us once told me that with power comes a great deal of responsibility. And that's not just for people with powers, like me. I think it goes for everybody. So I'm just going to live my life that way and everything else is noise. All right, listen, the cops are coming, so I'm out of here. Is everybody okay? All right, see ya. How's that for a home run? Oh, uh, we're still in the air. Well, there you have it, Tom. A world exclusive interview with the triumphant Spider-Man. And let me say, from this perspective, it seems that many of us have misjudged him from the get-go. It looks like New York has a true hero in our midst. Tom, I don't know if you can see this, but there's some kind of commotion over at the Craven the Hunter tour bus. It looks like the police have stopped the Craven camp from trying to flee the scene. It would seem that the police plan on arresting Craven and his crew for their behavior here tonight. Hold on. It seems we have even more new arrivals to this tumultuous scene. This is Carter. We have a big fat PDA. We need a doggy bag. ASAP. Agent Wu, make sure the hammer building is secure. We are going to clear the civilians and pick up the doctor. Hi, uh, who's the officer in charge? I am, ma'am. Hi, well, we'll take care of this one. You go right ahead. What is this guy? What's going on here? Sorry to pull the wool on you, officer, but it's classified. So if you'll just help us clear the area of civilians so we can quickly deal with this before innocent people get- Sure, sure. Excuse me? Hello? Are you FBI? Can you tell us what is going on here at Hammer Industries? What are you going to do with Otto Octavius? And can you comment on some of the vague allegations Otto Octavius made here about genetic- Tracy, we lost the feed. You lost your feed. So you're going down. I'm going. Where have you been? Jeez, you scared me, Aunt May. Do you know what time it is? No. It's three o'clock in the morning. Seriously? Wow, yeah, I I was waiting on the train Where and... were you? At the, you know, at the Daily Bugle. Really? Because I called over there and they said you hadn't come in all week. What? Where were you? No, I was there. Of course I was there. They... There are all kinds of people down at the Bugle. They all don't know me. They... A lot of people think I'm just the kid. They probably had me mistaken with somebody else. Yeah. Is this a bruise? I... Where were you? No, no, I fell at school. 
I got this in gym. You know, the ropes. Tell me the truth, Peter. Where were you? I told you. I know a lie when I hear one. Where were you? Okay, all right. Okay. I was... I was with Mary Jane. Uh Uh-huh. I didn't want to get you mad. I don't care if you respect me or not, young man. But as long as you live in this house, you will respect the rules of this house. No, I told you. Mary's house is the first place I called. Do you think I'm stupid? Mary was home all right, but boy, she was sure trying to cover your hide. She said you were at the library. So, which was it, Peter? Were you at work? At the library or at Mary Jane's? Which stupid, insulting lie do you want to stick to? Uh Uh-huh. I swear to God, Peter, if I find out you're in some kind of mischief with those idiot friends of yours at school. Oh, this is funny. No, I just... What friends? Haven't I grieved enough? For one lifetime? Now I have to sit here and wonder what happened to you? It's funny that I have to sit here and wonder if you're dead? Lying in a gutter somewhere? This nightmare of a city? No, I... Until you can figure out how to get home at a reasonable hour and how not to lie to my face? Guess what, kiddo? You are grounded. What? That's right. No more bugle. What? No more Mary Jane gigglethons in the basement. You go to school and you come home from school. A straight beeline to and from. And I will be calling your principal and your job to inform them of this as well. Come on! Yeah? Come on! And if you can't figure out how to do this... I will call the cops on you myself. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Now get out of my sight until you can figure out how to tell the truth. Are we back on the... Okay. Uh, if you can hear me, Tom, this was an amazing night here at Hammer Industries. Justin Hammer dead of a heart attack at age 67. Spider-Man selflessly battling odds obviously not in his favor. Against both Otto Octavius and syndicated television personality Craven the Hunter. Craven the Hunter is under arrest. Otto Octavius in government custody. And Spider-Man giving the press the first look into what makes him tick. We'll be staying with this story until we get more answers as to what events shaped this fateful night. Finally. Big time superhero. And I'm grounded. Spiders. Spider-Man powers of a... Spider-Man. So, what do you think? I think I want what he's having. I think when Fury gets back from wherever he is, he's going to rip us a new one. At least we got Octavius back in custody. On live television, sort of defeats the purpose of a covert operation. But we confiscated Hammer's Jersey plant. True. All the illegal genetic experiments he was funding have been stopped. He's out of the picture for good. True. We've done worse. No, we haven't. I'm going to go cry. I'm going home and drink myself unconscious. I'm going to go home, cry, then drink, and then eat ice cream till I knock myself unconscious. Can I come over? Sure. A Spider-Man. Little spider on his shirt. Spider powers. Spider-Man with spider. Oh. Oh. Oh no. No, no, I... Hello? I... uh, I know who Spider-Man is. His name is... Bar... Barker. 
His name is Puck. Hey, shady baby, I'm hot, like the prodigal sun. Big up at the mini money, more and flower, you're the chosen one. Mm-hmm.